How's it going everyone? Weed Nose here, and recently I've had the pleasure of being added to someone else's hit list. I did a video a couple days ago called Most Swag on YouTube, and it was me breaking down a video of a boy who had swag just teeming from him like it was solar radiation. Are you sick and tired of being picked on and being a loser or a nerd? Oh look, it's a nerd. Let's go get him. <laughs> And after watching these videos, I gave it an overall meme out of 10 IGN rating. <laughs> and that was pretty much the end of it, you know? We parted ways and I went on to make more videos to boost my cripplingly low self-esteem. But then, this underrated YouTube sensation, he came back. And with a vengeance. And ever since, we've been caught in a mortal struggle. Batman against the Joker. Coke against Pepsi. Sam Pepper against Foxy Body Pillows. No one knows who's gonna win the battle. Recently, this internet sensation made a video on me called Pyrocynical Gets Roasted and Hate Comments. Obviously, a title this attractive, I couldn't ignore the situation. I had to tackle it head on. That was a sympathy like, by the way. A like out of sympathy. A sympathetic lo So without further ado, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, fox kin and retards, I present to you the roasting of Pyrocynical. Yo guys, so today I'm gonna be doing a hate comments video because I never used to get any until this prick, Pyrocynical. This prick. No less than 10 seconds into the video. And this kid's already dropping the biggest roasts of 2016. I honestly don't know whether I'm going with this video. This kid's a savage. Pyrocynical made a stupid video parody of me. Check it out right here. Today's video is called How to be cool and have... Hello bro, you got my old makeup, I got swag. There's only two things on this planet that genuinely want to make me kill myself. Code Keem and children wearing obey caps. Both should just be put to the electric chair. So what this kid does next is, he tries to predict who I am, the origins of a YouTube sensation, <laughs> such as myself. Anyway, I think this guy is like, I'm gonna give my predictions of what I think this fucking moron is. Fucking moron. Fucking moron. Fucking moron. But basically, what I think he is, he's like 20, he lives at home with his parents, in his basement, which smells like waffles. I have to stop you right there, young man, because you're making a lot of false accusations. I'm not 20, I'm 45, <laughs> and I don't live at home with my parents. I live under a bridge, stealing Wi-Fi from McDonald's to upload videos. So please do some research before you start accusing these horrible things. Which smells like waffles, plays whatever the fuck he was playing, whatever the fucking video game, and then he likes to piss off people by putting them in his video. Great job, that's like amazing dude, that's like, that's like top class shit dude though. Now this kid just called me out as a sad loser that's on his computer all the time, and I have to say, you're absolutely right. You spend far too much time with your computer. It's not healthy. It's my life. That's so very, very sad. Now son, please. I'm not a hateful channel. I'm here to spread the love. The most I do is bring up the internet mirror and show it in your own face to show what kind of abomination you've become. I'm not a hate channel under any means. If you want to see a channel that is solely based on instigating fights between people, go watch Drama Alert or something, okay? I'm not in that crowd. Hey, give me some of that code Keem. Use code Keem, give me some of that Keem. You know, if you're going to make a five minute video talking about how swag has changed your life, there is no way I am not going to make a video on you. Let's be fair. Dude, though. Like, I don't know how you're not fucking banned yet. I was gonna put in a copyright strike, but I'm not a mean person. So low-key, this kid just said, he could have given me a copyright strike. He's got that smug look on his face, like, Pyro, I could have single-handedly destroyed your channel, ruined your career, but I'm not because I'm a nice person. It's not like you filing a copyright strike on my fair use video would have been fraudulent or anything. No, no, it's, it's totally legit, guys. And just to put it out there, right, you used my video of me talking about you in your video. So if you copyright strike me, technically you're gonna copyright strike yourself. We've both accidentally taken each other's channel hostage. <laughs> Let's read some hate comments. Basically right now I think there's 170 of them on my how to be swag video. He says he's got 170 hate comments, like it's a milestone, an achievement that he's got so many dedicated haters. Son, please just get on my level. 
I have people that have entire channels dedicating to hating me, saying how I'm nothing but a leafy clone, and how my voice sounds like an old man on his last breaths of oxygen. Trust me, the bigger you get as a channel, the more dedicated haters you'll get, so keep at it with the YouTube business and you'll be uh, rewarded with a lot of dedicated haters that'll definitely want to kill you. Comments. Okay, kill me. Kill me. Kill yourself. Ooh. Ooh. Yeah. Kill oh. yourself. <laughs> oh, yeah. And I just want to give a sh massive shout out to Pyro Cynical, who hopefully at the end of this video sit around and play video games and comment on people because he has no life while doing whatever the fuck I don't know. And hopefully he'll probably just end up taking his own life. I don't know. Like, we can only hope for the best. This kid just told me straight up to kill myself. I'm being, I'm being given death threats on the internet by kids. Oh, this YouTube is too much, man. I can see why people have breakdowns. But it's okay, guys. He said don't kill yourself in really small text after the video, so legally I can't call the police on him now. Comment down below what videos I should talk about. One like equals one tap water. <laughs>